Are you serious? Are you serious? Wow! Folks, I've got a powerful uh, information here. I've got six points to a seven-year peace agreement that's been offered from the European Union. Incentives to get this deal done. Quite amazing information, and I want to thank Eric for sending this me this information as well as Jonathan for sending me this other information. Well, this six-point uh, incentive to the seven-year peace and security plan between Israel and the Palestinians is quite lucrative. And this comes uh, sent to both sides, Israel and Palestine. Uh, President Maud Abbas received it, as well as uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel. And they received these in the midst of the storm. That's right, there's a very strange snowstorm, huge, that has hit Israel. The road to Jerusalem is blanketed in an unbelievable uh, snow blizzard as the, as the Israeli Defense Force vehicles and snow plows were also aiding police and mun municipality employees in efforts to aid the motorist. Police have worked to help dozens of drivers stranded on Jerusalem streets and on the entry roads into the capital as the intermittent snow continues to fall today on this Friday the 13th, 2013. Roads to the capital remain closed today uh, in the morning and in the afternoon as Highway 1 from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem uh, is down to one lane. It even closed for a little while. Uh, and if, you know any, if you've been to Israel, you know that from, from, the, uh, from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem is about a 45-minute drive on only one highway, Highway 1, to the capital of Israel, Jerusalem, the city of the great king. But on this Friday the 13th, 2013, Israel is on a, under a blanket of snow. Well, it's kind of ironic, actually, because at the same time, Israel has been offered an incentive. Now, this is actually, and that snowstorm report is on the Jerusalem Post. Now, I've also received a report uh, from the Palestinian News Network. Uh, and listen to this, folks. Are you serious? Are you serious? Thank you, Eric. The European Union, or the EU, is expected to announce this coming Monday an unprecedented assistance package, an incentive plan to offer to Israel and the Palestinian authorities if the two parties can reach a final status agreement, according to the news reports. The draft proposal states that after their arrival at a solution, a two-state solution, a peace and security, a seven-year deal, the status of both Israel and the future state of Palestine will, will be raised to, quote, special privilege partnership with the EU. The European Union says, in addition to the incentives estimated to be worth billions of euros, they will receive billions of euros, both, both sides will. Number one, they will be increased access to the EU market, they will both get. Number two, closer cultural and scientific ties to the EU. Number three, facilitation of trade and investment. Number four, promotion of businesses to businesses relationships. Number five, enhanced political dialogue with both sides with the EU. And number six, enhanced security cooperation with both sides. These are the six incentives to a seven-year peace and security agreement between Israel and the Palestinians. Folks, the EU wants this thing done bad. This is why I believe that the six superpowers, 
six world powers, if you will, put a deal together with Iran as it related to their nuclear uh, deal. Because China and Russia and America, the United Kingdom and France and Germany, are all going to use the Iranian threat as a leverage against Israel and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to try to force them or leverage Israel into signing this peace agreement. Israel, though, knows that the signing of this agreement means they got to give up some of the coveted land, which is written in uh, God promised Abraham way back in Genesis chapter 12, verses 1, 2, and 3. They also know they have to do what they don't want to do, and that is divide up that coveted land, which they were told not to do. But they will do it according to Daniel 9, 27, with the covenant with many. But Jesus said, when you see that covenant with many, it's going to mean you'll see the soon abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, which is the byproduct of this peace agreement. Well, what is the abomination of desolation? Well, the abomination is the Antichrist walking into the temple of God before the worshipers of God and declaring that he is God. And you can read that right there. Apostle Paul wrote it in 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 3. So that's a stair-stepping effect. So what I really believe happened is that six world powers are saying to Israel, look, if you don't do this deal, uh, then we can't get, we, you know, we can't, we don't, what do you want us to do? Iran, we can't totally control Iran. They're going to continue to enrich uranium. We don't want them to build nuclear weapons, but obviously there's no way to really monitor it that closely if we don't want to. But if you guys will do this deal, if you will do this deal with Palestinians, make a two-state solution, not only will we give you billions of dollars, and, but we will also put the hammer on Iran to where they can never achieve nuclear power, where they can never disrupt or annihilate you or Palestine. And so, because that is the Iranian Shiite radical Muslim end time eschatology doctrine, if you understand that. They believe, Iranians believe, majority of them, not the Christian Iranians, not a few moderates, but majority of them believe that there has to be chaos in Jerusalem, in the Middle East. So uh, this will cause Allah, in their mind, to send the 12th Imam, the Muslim Messiah, or the Allah Mahdi, back to the earth, along with Jesus, like his sidekick, like Batman and Robin, to come down here and save the world of injustices and rid the world of, of discrimination and, and bring peace and harmony to the planet. Well, we know it's an outright lie, but it's what they believe. Now, Having said that, the EU is, gets involved with this Iranian deal because you have France, United Kingdom, and Germany. You got three nations out of, and then throw Russia in there. You got four nations out of the six or out of Europe. So the European Union, though, uh, wants to incentivize now Israel and Palestine to get this deal done. John F. Kerry wants to get this do deal done so bad as a, as a type of forerunner uh, to help bring about this peace agreement. All of this is prophesied in the Bible. And even though Israel don't want to do this deal, they don't want to carve up part of their land, in the sense they are going to be put in a corner to where they're going to have to. And they'll probably give up the Gaza Strip They'll give up part of the West Bank, they're in Ramallah, and they'll give up maybe a tenth of the city of Jerusalem. I believe it would be about a tenth, a little slice of East Jerusalem. But in return, they will receive the promise of security and peace and the right to rebuild the third temple of the Lord. All of this is coming together. Now, our guest today on our live show, Daryl Myatt from Keller, Texas. He is a YouTube Bible prophecy teacher, does a great job. He's even going to uh, Jerusalem this coming March, and I was just there in May, and I'm really wanting to get a feel for his uh, understanding of this information as it relates to the entire Middle East with Israel and Palestine and Syria and Egypt and the, and the seven-year peace agreement and all the things that are coming down 
We're going to get a good, uh, we're going to ask him some questions and get some information today. Don't miss the show. It's at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com at from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern or at live stream channel or my new live stream channel or uh, blog talk radio. Or if you're not home but you don't want to miss the show, you can just call in on your cell phone and listen to the entire three hours. That phone number is 347 324 5208. That's 347 324 5208. Good thing we increased our phone lines from 99 to 250 because yesterday we had 140 people listening to the broadcast on the line. So it was very, very important to do that. God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you this afternoon. We got more YouTube videos coming. So don't run away. God bless.